So here comes Project Elixir version 3.1 based on Android 13 and this is the new version the previous version which was based on Android 13 the version 3.0 I made a video on that one already and the features or change log everything I've already shown the first look was already there and in this version yes there are some of the changes available which we'll talk about in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end the version which is based on Android 13 and the version 3.1 which we are talking about in this video is available for some of the devices right now while making this video and if it is not available for your device yet it will be available very very soon this version includes a bit of changes like new customizations have been added so let's just quickly talk about all these changes as quickly as possible the first one is about quick settings customizations which means if i move on to the quick settings as you can see this is how the ui is looking like of course it's not by default but you can customize this if you want to if you watched my previous video about version 3.0 the changes were there but no major customizations had been added but in this version new customizations are there for example you can see the quick settings panel where you can customize the quick setting tiles style outline style and we also have this rectangular style whichever you want to install it you can it's up to you by the way you might think that these things are actually not new but if you consider it about android 13 these things are actually new because these things were already present in android 12 or android 12.1 but in android 13 a lot of custom rooms are adapting these things now but not available yet in all those custom rooms even you can see the fluid OS quick setting style is also there which i had applied but now you can choose these things if you want to this is about the quick settings customizations which you have where you can even adjust the background transparency if you want to and this is what we have about quick settings panel quick settings customizations alongside all these quick settings customizations we have some theming related things too in the previous video which where i made a video on version 3.0 unfortunately there were no fonts customizations and there were no major customizations in theming if you want to watch that you can check out the video i'll take i'll share the video link in the description or in the card section you can check it out in fonts i tried to apply some fonts there you can see applied successfully icon pack also has the pui arches some of the most common icon pack options are already present and you can use any one of these if you want to signal icons are actually quite awesome we have many options available so if you are a customization lover or if you love customizations in a custom home most likely you can definitely install this thing and most likely you will love these things we have some wi-fi icon styles options available too it was about the theming which we have available in project elixir version 3.1 if you talk about all these theming and if i move on to other stuff which is included here is another thing which is included in lock screen customization is lock screen charging info in my opinion this is actually one of the most useful things especially in a custom room i want to check out how much charging current voltage battery temperature is what we have whenever i put my device into charging i definitely need to look this thing and finally in this version we have this feature available and you can definitely use this thing if you want to and yes this is traffic indicator i think so a lot of users want to install this thing on their devices they always look out for this thing on on their custom homes and this is already there and for me i sometimes use this feature sometimes don't because i sometimes use internet speed meter app from google play store which gives me some detailed information about that it's up to you it's user's preference so i'm not going to comment about it we have some miscellaneous options where you can see other options are kind of same which were available previously too but ignore window secure flags which will remove the screenshot and screen record limits for all applications this feature was not available in the previous versions but in this version we finally have this thing available in my personal opinion this also looks quite good and quite useful other than else like google photos unlimited storage or you can say safe net everything is already passed so i don't think so we need to talk about that other than else things are basically same these were things which i just want to let you know if you want to install this build you can link is of course already available in the description you can check out my website for the other information about this custom the changes and other than else you can also check out the previous reviews about android 12.1 which also available based on Android 12.1, the version I think so is version 2.1. Other than else, this was all from today's short and simple video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.